Let's look at how we can back up a WordPress. From the dashboard, I'm going to select Pages. And I'm going to select my About page. And here's our About page. So let's back up this site right now and then we'll make some changes. First I need to log into my cPanel. Select cPanel. We need to back up our website files and our SQL database. First, let's choose File Manager. And then next, we'll go to PHP My Admin. Choose Public HTML, and then the WordPress Demo folder. There's all of our WordPress files. If I go into WP Content, then into Uploads, follow the path through the dates until I get to my images, I can see the images that I uploaded to my gallery. Let's download one. There's one of my gallery images. I'm going to move up several levels until I get back to my WordPress files inside WordPress demo folder. I'm going to select all these files by clicking select all and then select compress. Choose a zip file and then give it a name. This is my first backup of my WordPress files. You usually have to click reload before you can view any new folders and files. There's my backup. I'm going to double click on that backup and download it. Now I have my own copy of my WordPress files and if my site goes down I can use these files and I can even move them to a different host if I want. Now let's go to PHP My Admin. The password is the same as my cPanel password. phpMyAdmin is where we will download our database. These are the database tables. I'm going to show you how to find out the name of your database in case you have more than one installed and you are confused. Go to wp-config.php And there you can view the database name, which is WordPress 839. This is the same for Joomla and Drupal. However, Joomla, it'll be under configuration.php, and in Drupal, it'll be under settings.php. So, right now we see the database tables, but if we click on databases here, we can see WordPress 839. Let's click on that. These are all of our database tables. I'm going to check all and then select export. Leave everything at default and select go. I'm going to take my database and my backup zip file of my WordPress files and put them in a folder. This will be my first backup. Every time I do a lot of work to my website, I'm going to create another backup. 
This way, no matter what happens with my site, even if the site goes down, I can always restore the site. If my host company goes down, I can even move this to a different host company, such as HostMonster, Bluehost, or GoDaddy, and simply put my website back up.